what's up everybody 915 man here doing a video today I got a little bit to talk about this is my Idaho grape Mandapura when I got it it was a real tiny crack let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit it's a uh, palm size now and you can see if you look real close it has little blue polyps right there uh, it has a little bit of a white ring that means it's growing um, and some of these other uh, SPS or acros that I have I use some reef welder I um, heated it up and this is a freshly glued, super glued to the overflow. Uh, it's a little brown right now, but uh, some of them are uh, coloring up due to the fact that uh, they're getting good flow and uh, they're going to get baked by these T5 lights. You can see this one in the background, it's, it was almost dead and uh, it started coming back alive. And I don't know the name of it, but uh, it's doing really good. Uh, here's another piece. Uh, I was checking it out and it was brown and now it's turning like a bluish violet with these little tiny polyps on it so it's doing good also uh, that purple stuff that I use is not uh, you know putty I don't use putty anymore I use that uh, plastic reef welder beads you just mix it up with some hot water let it sit and uh, mix it up and then you can glue it onto your overflow I do have a nice big section of uh, empty space on the my towards the middle of the tank and I'm gonna try and glue it on glass um, it does really good on plastic but now I'm gonna try it on glass um, the uh, pink bird's nest in the background really thick doing really good my leather right here though has kind of been irritated due to the fact of these purple and uh, green branching hammers you can see it right there um, but it's going to get used to it. And another thing that I got to let you know is this uh, this chalice off to the left, the Hollywood Stunner, has sweepers and it has been doing uh, damage to that uh, same hammer itself. Check out this frog spawn. Nice and fat. Really, really fluffy. Colors on it are awesome. And the LEDs are not hitting it directly. So maybe that's why it's so uh, open. So that's a little taste of the 180. I'll be giving you another 180 update later on. But in this video, I mainly want to talk about my 20 gallon long. It's just a cheap little Petco tank, uh, $20. Usually when you, you can get it for the dollar per gallon. If you want anything bigger than 20 gallon from Petco, uh, you're going to be paying half price of what it, it is. So it's no longer really a 40 gallon breeder for $40. So here's the cheapo tank. 20 gallons, simple as possible. Have a hang on back filter um, that I've reused many of times. And uh, this tank is getting full of frags. Um, I just cut them up, grow them out. Haven't really, um, don't really sell too much. I like to grow them out, have a backup. And uh, you know what? Frags make me happy. And uh, especially the Zoas. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this tank. I'm going to show you the lighting. I'm still using the Coral Box LED. Uh, it's a good, good little light. And then above, I have the uh, T5s. Um, I did it like this because I, I love the look of T5s. They grow corals real good, color them up. But I do have them uh, ghetto rigged um, because I don't have a hanging kit for them. Uh, check this out, though. I wanted to show this off. This is my custom made frag rack from uh, blue tight acrylics and as you can see it says 915 mang right there and the top left and top right corners says 915 mang but check out the uh, sides this is that ruby red acrylic looks pretty awesome and then the top is just full of holes he custom made this for me Jake um, I did pay the total price that I paid with shipping was 60 bucks but I had him drill holes for me so I can you know stuff this rack with tons of little frags the different zones or whatever I decide to do as you can see the uh, way that I'm holding up the t5 which just t5 is actually pretty heavy is I'm repurposing the reef breeders LED uh, mounts and I used it to hang up my uh, t5 from aquatic life this is a four bulb and it has the uh, blue moonlight LEDs now I actually would consider changing out my Coral Box LED light. Um, I was looking at the new Aquatic Life rails 
They come with the, uh, you know, the T two T5s, and then you can stick whatever LED in the center. Well, they came out with one that would cover most of my tank because my tank is a 180, six foot long tank. So what I could do is buy one of those. And then stick my 50 gallon, my 50 inch uh, Reef Breeders LED light. Um, and then at the other end of my 50 that, that I'm using to connect the uh, Reef Breeders, move that light over to this little 20 gallon or go back into a 40 gallon breeder later on. I don't know. Something to think about. But uh, we'll see what's going on there. You can see I have tons of frags and I have tons of Aptasia. Um, I'm bought some I'm gonna be showing you here in a minute but I bought some more uh, peppermint shrimp and uh, so we're gonna take a look and see hopefully if it works for my tank or not but it's kind of getting out of control it's already annoying um, and some of this stuff is like keeping some of the polyps from opening up because Aptasia is an anemone and uh, there's just no good to the tank Another option that I'm looking at is adding some of those uh, Bergias. Though I don't know how to pronounce it really, to be honest with you guys, but they're these little fuzzy looking worm things and supposedly they go after Aptasia and they will, they're will they pretty effective. So, you know, next to that is a laser and I'm not gonna spend, you know, a ton of money on some laser uh, unless somebody wants to let me borrow it and then I'll send it back to you, that'd be sweet. But um, I think I'm going to give these uh, peppermint shrimps a chance. There's one in here, but I really haven't seen them do anything. And then uh, if not, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just keep annoying the, the stuff. I did, you know, try a hydrogen peroxide dip on uh, Aptasia. It, it did fuzz up really nicely and um, nothing really happened to my tank. But, you know, there's so many in here that it would take a long time. I'm trying to look for a more natural way. Now I did add an emerald crab. I added two emerald crabs in this tank for the bubble algae. And I gotta tell you, those um, emerald crabs so far have, have been doing work because on the bottom of the uh, 20 gallon, most of those frags are bubble algae free. I still gotta manually, manually remove it, but um, it is working. You can see that I just flashed the uh, polyp lab. I am feeding my uh, corals that stuff. I still have the reef chili. I do want to try to buy some of that uh, Aquamax coral grub um, just to mix it up. I do uh, target feed my zoas and things like that. Um, what I am using right now is a flashlight, um, the Aquamax flashlight. I'm going to go ahead and show you what these corals look like during the day right now. And then I'm going to flip it to um, the blues on and so that way you can appreciate the colors a little bit more. Now I did go to the LFS, picked up a few um, peppermint shrimp. Actually I picked up all the peppermint shrimp that he had in stock. I went to uh, Sea Creatures. These ones that are bagged, um, I have two separate bags. And the reason I have two separate bags is because I was telling them, hey, you know what? These peppermint shrimps really um, suck. They're not really effective. They're not really doing anything for me. I've bought tons of them. So what he did is he got an Aptasia from his tank. He threw it where the uh, peppermint shrimp were. And then the ones that paid attention to the Aptasia, he bagged them up for me. And then after that, I went ahead and got the rest of them. So I put the ones that went after Aptasia right away into this 20 gallon. And then the other ones I'm going to throw in the 180 and see if they will do anything. So now let me show you what I got. Um, I busted out the flashlight, but first I want to give a shout out to a subscriber that was like hey are you the guy from YouTube um, at the fish store and I was like yeah man that's me I have a YouTube and we started talking so shout out to you and uh, Jimmy but uh, I want to show you this frag that I got and uh, this is just a chalice I have been looking for it for a while in fact I had been trying to get Jimmy to frag me some mummy eyed chalice for a long time but uh, you know he really doesn't hook it up like that so when I did find um, a chalice that he was selling, man, I had to get it and check it out. I'm going to show you a little bit closer, but you can see the nice, huge pink eyes on it. Um, and, you know, zoas and chalices are my weakness. 
especially if it's a chalice that I've been trying to get here locally for a long time. These are like the mummy eyed chalice. Most of it is green, but you can see those nice pink eyes. And the cool thing is um, I ended up buying it, put it in the tank. Wife didn't even notice that I had bought the chalice. I have so many frags in my 180 now that, you know, I can buy coral and I won't be busted at all. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I even was showing the wife with the flashlight. She's like, yeah, okay, you know, it's cool. Looks like all your other corals. And uh, she didn't know till the next day that I said, you know what, I, I bought a new coral and you didn't even notice. So that was pretty cool. Quick little story about that. But I am very happy right there. Does look really good and I can't wait to put it in the tank. But I, before I do that, I am going to dip my corals because uh, most of my tank is Zoas. And I don't want to introduce any uh, Asterina starfish due to the fact that uh, they do damage to my tank. They like to eat my stuff. So when I do get new coral, I do dip. And this is the Coral RX Concentrate. I'm going to go ahead and dip it in here. Swish it around and see if anything falls off of my mummy eye chalice. Now the mummy eye chalice was on a frag plug. It encrusted it really well. So what I'm going to do is get some super glue gel. I'm going to pit it on the base of this. And then I'm going to add that to a larger frag disc. So that way it can grow out and also not be tipped over by any fish or flow or anything like that. Because when once uh, corals flip over, you don't pay attention to it, um, chances are it's going to die. At least in my tank, especially with that sugar fine sand, uh, do not buy that crap. Uh, so once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and show you the 20 gallon long. I'm going to check out some of my candy that I have. You know, of course, I have issues with my tanks and I have issues just collecting all these frags. But let's go ahead and take a look and you can see why. I love it so much because of all the colors that I have from the Zoas, the different varieties. I want to get some more Zoas, um, but uh, you know it's all a process and a and a collection, and it's fun to start off with a couple frags, and then all of a sudden you have you know a whole colony of different kinds of uh, Zoas. So let's take a look, guys. I am using that uh, flashlight that I showed you again. It's just a coral eye view. Um, flashlight it's blue and it really gets the colors going um the mummy eye chalice that i had got uh the blues weren't on at the fish store so i knew what i was looking for but like if you don't know what you're looking for and you happen to see something you're not going to really see that whole color unless you carry a flashlight on you and uh i'm very happy with the way it looks and how it came out and i'm glad to have it in my tank now so it's going to be in the 180 and uh, here's some different pallies that I picked up from the uh, coral reef and uh, lots of little zoas growing out in this tank. Um, I'm already f using my little new frag rack that I picked up from, um, from Jake at Blue Tide Acrylics. Check him out. Did a video on him because he gave me some uh, custom frag racks. They're like mini frag racks. And I do have them on this 20 because I have so many frag racks in this 20. Uh, just to jam pack it full. You can see I have utter chaos, scrambled eggs, I have a ton of uh, rastas, I have a ton of cloves. Um, the cloves I picked up from Cultivated Reef and they've just done really, really well in these tanks. I have um, lots of corals going on here, lots of little zoas, you know, and these one heads will turn into two, three, four heads here shortly and everything's looking pretty good so i don't know about you guys i just love the zoas and the pallies i know you guys do too if you're watching but um i'm slowly gonna get into acros uh and the acans i still love acans but i want a variety of different colors uh just to make the mix reef pop and look better um i do have a quarter coral order coming up um and uh, for those of you that entered, I'll be letting you guys know who actually won. I know I'm behind on that. But check these uh, Sunny Ds out. Lots of Sunny Ds, lots of other chaos. And um, it's going to be growing out. And I'm going to keep on reefing. And my GSP and everything is doing really well. 
So let's see how it goes. I think everybody should have a frag rack, frag tank. And uh, if not a frag tank, at least a couple of racks in your uh, main display. Also, as far as maintenance goes on this, this tank, I haven't done a water change on this tank. I did recently do a water change up until this video. I did a little 10 gallon water change, which was pretty awesome. Um, I just used a regular reef crystal salt and uh, I'm actually out of salt so I need to buy some more. So I'll probably be buying some on Amazon, uh, the 200 gallon box because it's like $60 and it comes with four bags of uh, salt. And that usually lasts me for quite a while. I am uh, testing now again. I did get my replacement tests from uh, Niles and uh, I really like them. So keep a lookout in that for that in that uh, the upcoming videos. But anyways, here's a look at some of my corals, my zoas. And for all you other Zoas lovers, hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching. You guys like and subscribe.